Do you remember those shirts that say, I am UBC? Um, I think I could say I am UBC. I came to UBC when I was 17 years old as an undergrad. I did grad school at UBC, and now I'm a professor at UBC. So I've been with UBC for longer than half of my life. I am an epidemiologist and I study diseases. And in studying diseases, I use big data. And I look for ways for patients to live better with disease. So 2015, 2016, I just had secured my first grants. So I had big studies and big plans. And I was going on maternity leave, so I was actually planning on coming back after six months. Six months into my maternity leave, I started showing some symptoms. And after um, a visit to a doctor, I was diagnosed with colorectal cancer. I thought, you know, I just had a baby. I have this great career and great job that I was trying to get back to. I have all these studies that I wanted to finish. I don't have time to have cancer. So, you know, I was mad. Um, yeah, I was more mad more than anything. One of the things that I did during my cancer journey was to actually start a blog. And then, because of that blog, I joined um, Instagram. Um, and then I started following other colorectal cancer patients who were diagnosed uh, around the same age as me. And then I found that we were asking the same questions, um, you know, like parenting questions. So how do you tell your child you have cancer? What do you do to make you not feel so bad? Or how do you stop your hair from falling off? So, you know, I found that we were asking questions that we were afraid to ask outside. So then made me realize that, you know, there is an information gap that, you know, research could address. So I received a grant from the Canadian Center for Applied Research in Cancer Control to launch a survey um, to patients with colorectal cancer to ask them about their information needs at the time of diagnosis, at treatment, and after they finish treatment, which is what we call survivorship. Because this research was inspired by my cancer journey, I really hope that the research will answer the questions that I had um, when I was a patient and help make that journey just a little bit better.